This is the first of two short podcasts created by the Law Library at the University of Tasmania to help you use our library resources to find case law. In this video, we will look at what is case law, what information is in a case, and what is a case citation. Case law, along with legislation, is a primary source of law in Australia. The role of the courts is to interpret legislation and to apply the doctrine of precedent. The doctrine of precedent means that a court must follow the decision reached by a higher court when the facts are similar. Each case is a record of a judge's decision and the reasons for their decision. These decisions, or cases, read together constitute a body of legal principles known as the common law or case law. When we are considering a legal dispute, case law helps us to understand the relevant legal principles and how a court will weigh the legal issues. So I'm going to show you an example from the High Court of Australia. Generally speaking, you'll find details of the court where the matter has been heard. So here, the High Court of Australia, the name of the parties. So in this case, the appellants and the respondent to the appeal, the judges, um, then usually listed somewhere. So here you'll find them on the right hand side, Chief Justice French and the other justices who sat. Um, and heard this matter. You'll also see um, generally a medium neutral citation. So this is the citation applied by the court um, here. So it's a 2016 case in the High Court of Australia and they've, they've given it that number. You'll also find um, catchwords at the beginning of the case. So here we, we know that it's a a case about negligence of solicitors um, and the advice that they've given leading to a settlement. So um, we can have a quick look at that. Um, and then underneath that, you'll find a statement of the facts, what issues are to be decided in this particular case. Often there's a discussion of relevant legal principles um, if, that's, if that's necessitated and then a judgment or conclusion and orders. Um, often right at the end of the case, you'll also find um, who represented the parties to the case. So if we scroll right down, um, you'll see here the solicitors for the respondent and the appellant listed here. So case references, also referred to as case citations, abbreviate the key information relating to a case and its publication details. Understanding the parts of a case citation will help you to locate the case. These are all determined by the Australian Guide to Legal Citation. Here we're going to look at three example citations for the same case. The first is the um, party names you'll see at the beginning, and these are italicized, and that's in accordance with the Australian Guide to Legal Citation. Um, we then have the year to the case, um, and then we have um, the court, abbreviated abbreviation of the court name, and we have the number. In some cases, publishers will pick up a case and publish them in their own law report series. If you're referring to a case from a law report series, um, such as the example here, so again, you start with the party names, Atwells and Jackson Lilac Lawyers. Uh, then we also have the year of the decision in this citation the volume number and abbreviated name of the law report series. So here the Commonwealth Law Reports, uh, volume 259, and then the first page number. The main difference between a judgment using a medium neutral citation and a traditional citation is that the report 
that in the reported judgments, the abbreviation is for the publication, while in the medium neutral citation, the abbreviation is for a court. Here is another citation from a different law report series. So multiple law reporters have picked up this particular case because it is an important one. Um, you'll notice um, that in this case, we have square brackets rather than round brackets around the year. And that's because this um, publisher pub publishes annually. So rather than a volume number on the shelf, you'll just have um, 2016 cases. Um, so that's indicating um, where it is in the series. It's important to remember that when you have many citations for the same case, you don't use them all. Um, and in the second podcast, uh, we'll explain how to select the most appropriate citation for your assignments and when in court. So when you're in court or in a moot or in class and you're talking about a case, um, you might find that some elements of the case citation need to be pronounced differently to how they would appear in written form. These guidelines for pronunciation are outlined in the Australian Guide to Legal Citation, or the AGLC. Um, first thing to note is in Australia, we do not pronounce the V between the party names. Um, in civil cases, we use an, so you would have noticed that I said um, that it was Atwell's and Jackson Lilac lawyers. If it is a criminal case, you say against, so the, the queen against such and such. Um, instead of using R against such and such, you would say the queen or the crown against such and such, because it's a prosecution on behalf um, of the queen or the crown. So let's um, again look at the example of At Atwells and Jackson, Lilac lawyers. Um, you would say here, Atwells and Jackson, Lilac lawyers, reported in 2016 at volume 259 of the Commonwealth Law Reports at page one. Or if you're referring to a different page um, within that decision, you might cite that page number giving you now an example for a criminal court. Um, you would say here, the Queen against Stubbs reported in 2019 at volume 228 of the federal law reports at page 221. There are other ways that party names might appear in citations. For example, um, the Australian Guide to Legal Citation says that you would pronounce re as in the matter of. So here you might say in the matter of Kelvin in 2017 in the full court of the Family Court of Australia at page 258. So I'm now going to show you how to find the AGLC so that you can properly cite and pronounce cases. So here we're at the library homepage. Um, you can find cases in a variety of places, um, and we'll go into that in the in the next um, in the next video. Here, I'm just going to show you how to find the Australian Guide to Legal Citation. So first, you might go to the subject guides, then to law, and then within law, you have um, a referencing guide. So hopefully, this guide will assist you with um, putting together your references. Um, if you want to download the, ci the citation guide itself, all you need to do is go here. It can also be found um, in hard copy in the library, so you can borrow a copy or you can purchase a copy for yourself. Um, in the guide, we also do have some assistance, um, so references by format. So if you want to cite a case, um, you would want to identify what type of case it is and then how you would cite it in your footnote and how you would cite it in your bibliography. So we're coming to the end of this first podcast. We've covered what is case law, um, what's in a case, how can you reference and um, refer to a case in, write, in spoken and written form. 
In the next video, we we'll cover how to find Australian and international cases um, and how to check whether the cases are still good law. And also, as I mentioned earlier, how to determine which citation is the most appropriate one to use. If you have any questions, you are always welcome to have a chat with us at the Law Library. Here are our contact details. We hope that this short podcast is helpful to you and thank you for your time.